Hello and welcome. And today it's our first video on queue data structure where we'll discuss what is queue, what are different operations in queue, what are advantage and what are disadvantages. Let's see all those things. So queue data structure, let's start. A queue can be defined as an ordered list. That is something which is an ordered list which enables insert operation to be performed at one end called rear and delete operation to be performed at another end called front. So queue is a linear data structure, fine, which, which uh, in which you can insert element you can insert element from rear that is from backside and you can delete element from front fine okay so this is uh, here we have till not discussed q is referred to as fifo first in first out what is first in first out the one who has came first will be processed first first in first out where was whereas stack was lifo last in first out the one who came last will be processed first for example people waiting in a in a line for a railway ticket from for form a queue so if you can see this is a queue where people are waiting in a line fine so this is the first element this is the first person who came and this is the last person fine so who will be uh, who will come out who will get the ticket first the one who came first so this is fifo based fifo and from where insertion will take place from the backside no a person cannot join from here or from middle he has to join from backside so a person who will enter will enter from rear and the person who will get deleted or get processed will process from front fine so this is an example of queue and if you see this diagram, so this is a diagram where uh, this is a linear queue or you can say array where first element, suppose uh, the element are 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9, suppose the index is 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4, so front has 0 index, front is a pointer having an index, rear is having a 4 index, that is front is representing the first element, rear is representing the last element, if you want to delete, delete means DQ, DQ means you want to delete from queue if you want to dq then you have to delete from front fine and if you want to insert that is nq then nq you can nq from uh, from backside that is from rear fine so this is what um, Q is all about. Let's move further. So some basic operation of Q are one is NQ. NQ means to add element. No, to add element in a queue is NQ, which I have already told you. DQ means to delete element from a queue. You can add element from rear while you can delete element from front this is what i already told you there are two three more operations one is peak peak if you want to see the front element suppose there are there are three four seven nine and eighteen element so what will peak give peak will give you the value three that is which element is lying at first element first position it will not remove it it will just tell you the first element so peak gets the element at front of the queue without removing it what is is full is full it will check is the queue full because if queue is full then it is is full operation will give you the queue is full checks if the queue is full is empty will check if the queue is empty fine and this is we talk about front and rear fine okay so I'll not go further and uh, teach you. I've already taught you whatever I want to talk, teach. Now comes application of Q. Very important. What are different application of Q? So Q are widely used in waiting list of single shared resource like printer. So if you have a printer in your uh, organization or in your college, so there might be so many desktop or laptop attached to a single printer because you cannot have n number of printer with n number of desktop you always have a single printer which is attached to many desktop or laptop now if you are giving a command and now all are giving a command so what printer printer is non-shareable resource which execute one at a time so what it will actually do it will process request line by line so what it will do suppose uh, this is computer 1, this is computer 2, computer 3 and computer 4. First computer 1 gave the request, so in queue first uh, will come in first position, then third, then third will come and suppose then 1 gave the, uh, then suppose 2 gave the request, then 2 will come and then 4, then 4. In, a, in this manner, uh, a queue is created and a process and the printing will take place, fine. Queue are used in asynchronous transfer of data. What is asynchronous, which means which is not synchronous, which is not at a time. So where data is not being transferred at same time. If data is not being transferred at same time, then I have to keep some data somewhere. I have to keep in somewhere. So that is called pipes. So I have to keep that data somewhere so that when I'll get the chance, I will transfer. So the, meanwhile, that that pipe is known as queue. So this is application of queue. Queue are used as buffers in most of the application like MP3 players and CD players. So when you have multiple songs to listen, so what you actually do, you make a queue, you make a 
buffer and you know you select those song and uh, you put in a queue so once the song get completed next song in a queue get start executed and fourth is saying the same point and the fifth are used in operating system for handling handling interrupt so there are so many interrupt in uh, operating system so if there are n number of interrupt each cannot be handled at a time so all those interrupt are put in some queue so this is where queues are used so these are applications of queue now comes very important queue if i talk about queue then something which is very important is that order of insertion order of insertion and order of deletion should take only one time should take on should have a complexity of only one that is you require if you want to insert you can directly insert from backside and if you want to delete you can directly delete from front so insertion and deletion should not take more than order of one this is the property of queue this is the property of queue else if you want to search an element it can depend on number of element but if i talk about insertion if i talk about insertion and if i talk about deletion it should take order of one so if i say data structure and if i say it's queue then for insertion it should take one time and for deletion it should take one time apart from that apart from that it could take n time any time but i should mainly focus on these two complexity fine with these two and space complexity is always order of n because if there are n people it will take n space if there are five people there it will take five space so it totally depend on order of n fine okay now at last type of queue in data structure so in upcoming videos we'll discuss we'll discuss many queues so first of uh, many queues the, like first queue will which we'll discuss is simple queue and linear queue so what is simple queue simple queue is something like this which is like a straight array where the element deleted from front and element insert, inserted from rear this is a simple queue then comes circular queue what is circular queue when the last element after last element you get the first element you come to first element so this is called circular queue so what is circular queue if i make a, a diagram of circular queue and I, if i suppose make it a array like this then one two three four and five after five you again get one so in a circular queue the last node is connected to the first node very fine circular queue is also called ring buffer it is also called ring buffer in circular queue also insertion takes place from rear and deletion takes place from front you have to keep in mind insertion will always from rear and deletion will always be from front first it hardly matters which queue it is now priority queue third third type of this is second type of queue and this is third type of queue what is what is priority queue so the priority queue is something like in priority queue the node will have some predefined priority suppose if you talk about a hospital there are so many patient and each patient are having some different kind of symptom some patient are in severe condition so their priorities are high some pro pro patients are less serious and some are very less or they just came for an opd purpose fine so in a similar fashion a queue has in a priority queue different elements has a different priority and on the basis of priority we we, we process them no the pro the element which is having highest priority will be processed first and element which is having the lowest priority will be uh, processed later so insertion in the priority queue is performed in order of arrival of node if i talk about insertion it, it totally depend on arrival i cannot insert element who has not arrived yet no it totally depend on insertion but if i have to delete the node having the highest priority will be first to be removed which i already told you then the fourth queue is d queue is double ended queue so what is double ended queue if i just told you in a queue from one side you insert element from one side you delete element which side is called that side is called front and from one side you insert element that side is called rear but in double ended queue from both side you can insert and delete from both side you can insert and delete fine so this is what double ended queue is all about we'll see the detailed of each and every queue in coming videos fine 